Good afternoon, everybody. Reverend Seely here bringing you the pastor's update. Reverend Myra is on three weeks of very well-deserved vacation. So I'm going off a bulletin this week that was written by Father Jim, and I thought I would just read this first paragraph here because this is a, a lovely paragraph. So we start off with Father Jim writes, This week we celebrated the funeral of Reverend Jim Lehman, who was once the pastor of Salem United Church of Christ on Bittner Street. I spoke with him at St. John's home before he died. We reminisced about an incident that occurred in the early 80s. At the time, he was the pastor of Salem and I was the pastor of Corpus Christi. He had a parishioner who wanted her child to be baptized Catholic. He didn't know what exactly to do, so he called me and asked if he could come to Corpus Christi and the two of us baptize the baby together. So that is what we did. In front of a Sunday congregation of 400, the two of us con-celebrated the Mass and baptized the baby together. This was definitely a no-no for the Roman Catholic Church to have a Catholic priest and a Protestant minister publicly celebrate two sacraments together. Reverend Jim told me before he died, Jim, you were the only one crazy enough to do this, so that's why I called you. We had a good laugh. It felt good to break down the walls that have kept us from loving each other, as the song says. So... Thanks for that, Father Jim. We also have a reminder about our small Christian communities. For anybody who's been curious about joining one of those, these are groups of six to ten parishioners that meet usually once or twice a month to share with one another. Um, so we're hoping to create sort of a master list of all of our groups that are currently active in the parish. There are about 20 right now. So if you are a current member of a group, please contact Lauren or Zeta Fry. And her email is on the website and in the bulletin. And we're also hoping to have a fair of small Christian communities sometime this coming fall, probably in September, uh, so that if you've been looking for an opportunity to join one, that will be your chance. So we'll keep you posted on that. August is our fundraising month for Grace of God. So a reminder again that there's a chance this month to host a house party or a home dinner where you just invite people over for a simple meal or a formal meal and just invite them to bring a donation for grace of god there's also our bowling party which we hope you can join us for at radio social on friday august 26th from six to nine and there will be a special liturgy for grace of god at thursday night mass on august 18th so that's at 7 p.m so we hope you can be part of any or all of those um, coming up, we also have the Labor Day Parade. We usually have about 40 people from Spiritus that walk in that. So this year it's on September 5th, and we invite you to meet at Sibley Place on the corner of East Avenue between 1030 and 11 on that day, and we can march together in support of farm workers. So everybody's invited to that. Uh, we send our condolences this week to Mary Alice Service Knapp and Dean Knapp on the death of Dean's father, Clark Knapp. To Lauren and Danielle or Zeta Fry on the death of Lauren's cousin Jason's sister, who died suddenly. To Jerry McElroy on the death of his wife Gail. And to Connie uh, Curciello on the death of her mother Colleen DeMont. Uh, her funeral will be next Tuesday, the 16th, at Spiritus at 10:30. And just a reminder that we have our final summer mass in the park on Tuesday, August 30th. This will also include a blessing of the backpacks, or it can include a blessing of a briefcase or anything that for you is symbolic of a new, um, a new start in your life of some kind. If you're starting school or a new job or anything like that, we invite you to be part of that. So we hope you can join us. Um, mass begins at 6 p.m. at the Sycamore Lodge in Ellison Park, and it's followed by a dish, a dish to pass picnic supper. Uh, we supply the hot dogs, and you guys bring the rest. We had a great turnout for our July Mass, so we hope to see you there. So that's the news from around the parish this week. Hope you're having a good week, and we'll see you next time.